right, hey guys, checking in here from Switzerland and uh, Zurich, Switzerland. And some police here searching the river for a body, <laughs> from what I can tell. Pretty crazy. But <clears throat> we are diving, or not diving, we're swimming, floating. And this this is the, what's the name of this river, LT? You remember? No. <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to be some of the cleanest, clearest swimming water in the world. It's amazing, it's like 76 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And it's just great. Tell you guys a little, give you guys one of my little motivational posts here. Uh, and kind of just give you the, the backdrop of floating around. And I've had a lot of questions recently on uh, getting out of the country with a warrant in the United States. And so people ask me some crazy stuff uh, because of my background and training and um, experience, more experience than anything because of, because of my life experiences. And I get that question a lot. So I'm gonna answer it in a hypothetical manner. If one had a, a warrant and was being, you know, like a large, big one, Interpol, International, Red Notice, something like that, how would you get out of the United States if you were in the United States? And one of the big, one, that's one of my number one questions that I get asked, and it's a difficult thing. It's very difficult because um, in our modern era, you gotta be so worried about like, uh, basically computerized, you know, facial recognition. And I wanna, for you guys, if you want the full in-depth version of how to do it, there's several series of survival, escape, and evasion training. And there's, on my YouTube channel here, and there's several series as well of um, what would be considered uh, gray man theory. So my gray man theory videos and my survival escape and, a train and survival escape and evasion videos will go into depth on how to do it. But the basics are, man, you could just cross over on foot. You could cross over in a taxi to the southern border with Mexico. They're not looking at anybody going south. So it's really the easiest way to do it. And then you can. You can charter flights out of the U.S. and then uh, parachute out of the out of the planes uh, to the northern border, to the southern border as well. And there's really just so many ways. All you got to do is just immediately get rid of all of your social media, any kind of a phone that can connect you to anything. So no no electronics. Finish all your. Don't do any of the same habits that you used to do. End all habits. Anything like that get rid of your identification cards and and uh you got to go gray or off grid and it's very easy you know there's i know ranches in texas where you can just stroll on across the rio grande right oh right from texas into mexico and there's nobody in sight so basically walking distance so that's uh yeah they're looking at everything. So the crazy thing is, is we've got these police behind us just really searching hardcore this river. So something crazy must have happened here. We don't know exactly what it is, but uh, could be drugs, guns, whatever, but they got a lot of police out here looking for something. So no idea what it is, but <sighs> something crazy for sure. So yeah, that's uh, kind of the tune in there and of course this is a quick quick q and I'm doing some Q&A's in these videos answering a questions that I get a lot of and this is one of them and uh and that's it so check out the other videos I have on here for in-depth coverage of that questions and comments below bone out Bye.